Tonight at 11, wildfires making for unhealthy air in Humboldt County. We'll tell you why you may be seeing ashes flying around the air. Plus, terror hitting Spain. Tourists in Barcelona sheltering in place after a van runs through a crowd of people leaving several dead and at least 50 injured. We're getting reaction from those in the North Coast. And a woman who was last seen in late July has been reported missing since Tuesday. We'll tell you who she is and where she was last seen. Also, rattlesnake sightings on the rise in Humboldt County. Tonight, a wildlife expert explains why and what to do if you see one. And Humboldt Housing Help, how a new program is helping people get off the street. North Coast News at 11 starts now. Live from our studio in downtown Eureka, you're watching North Coast News on KAEF ABC 23. At 11, get the facts right. New tonight, when you woke up and went to work this morning, did you notice ash on your car? Good evening, thanks for being here. I'm Nazi Javid. All day we've been getting messages from viewers asking about ash in the air, so we checked. We spoke with the Hoopa Fire Chief today who tells us the wildfire smoke is having harmful effects in the county. He says the smoke is especially unhealthy in Hoopa and the Klamath River corridor is smoked in. We asked him about several reports we got from viewers about ash in the sky coating their cars. The fire chief saying ashes can be carried through the smoke column and that at this hour, Air in Humboldt County and wildfire areas is just not healthy. Well, let's face it, uh, wildfire smoke is dangerous. It, it's a threat to the public. So, so we've got to make sure that we stay out of the smoke as much as possible. Older adults uh, are, are more likely to be affected by smoke. People that have heart or lung diseases, small children, children that are playing outside. Try to prevent the effects of wildfire smoke from affecting you. you know, keep the indoor air in your home or your office as clean as possible. Don't leave windows and doors open. If you have an air conditioner, put it on recirculate. Don't, don't pull air in from the outside. Minimize outdoor activities at all times if you can. And, and if you're feeling sick and you're not uh, sure what's going on with you, you know, seek the advice of your doctor. Wildland firefighters uh, are affected by wildland fire smoke, and it's a byproduct of the job. Uh, we realize that. We're taking the risk for that. But we don't uh, expect that the general public to take the same risk that we do. And we also spoke to people on the streets of Eureka tonight about the ash and air quality. Here's what they had to say. Well, this morning when I got uh, ready to go to work, I looked out and I was like, good gracious, man, there's ash all over. A little bit wheezy today, too. So, yeah. I've seen worse, but it's a shame when things are burning. Definitely a problem for all of us. And North Coast air quality officials are also alerting us to the danger of inhaling that unhealthy air. They agree that smoke levels are creating a major health hazard. The areas they say are affected around Hubble County besides Hoopa are the Klamath River drainage, specifically Orleans, Wichapack, and Willow Creek. Now, air quality control officials say you should be on the lookout for symptoms you see there on your screen, which can happen when inhaling lots of smoke. And our first alert meteorologist, Rob Elvington, will break down the smoke for us on satellite in just a few. New tonight, a Fortuna homeowner shocked yesterday when a silver Ford pickup truck smashed right into their house. Fortuna police say it happened on the 800 block of Springville Avenue near Redwood Way. FPD says for unknown reasons, the driver lost control, crashing it. You see it right there into the front of that home. Surprisingly, though, nobody was hurt, and the sergeant says it's under investigation. Also new tonight, another crash in Fortuna. This one was a rollover. Just look at this photo. It happened around 3.30 this afternoon. Fortuna police say a Ford pickup and a Ford SUV collided at 14th and K Streets. One person there taken to the hospital for minor injuries. The cause is under investigation. Now we've got to talk about those fires we've been tracking for you, the ones impacting the North Coast. Here's the latest. We're starting with the Eclipse Fire caused by lightning burning in Happy Camp. The complex includes the Clear Fire, and it has burned more than 11,000 acres in total. At this hour, it's about 15% contained. The Orleans Complex is made up of 19 fires. At last check, this one's burned more than 5,800 acres. Fire crews say they have it 40% contained. As for the Salmon August Complex, which is burning in the Klamath National Forest, this one, made up of six fires, has burned 2,200 acres. Fire crews say they have it 20% contained. 
In Eureka, police are searching for a missing woman. Officials tell us that 27-year-old Alicia Gonzalez, also known as Alicia Duran, was last seen on July 26. Her mother says she was at the DMV in Eureka where she dropped her off. Her mom telling us that she might be with her boyfriend, Edward Bullock, who's also pictured here. She says they often go to the Blue Lake and Sherry Heights casinos. Police did not say if they suspect foul play. If you have any information on where she is, you can call the number on your screen. A Humboldt County jury has convicted a man for being a felon with a gun, two counts of unlawful gun activity, and possession of a controlled substance while armed with a gun. The DA says in April, 23-year-old Ivan Martinez Chavarin was pulled over in a traffic stop. That's when a gun was noticed by the officer. Officials learned there was a felony warrant out for his arrest for both domestic violence and making criminal threats. At least 13 people are dead and more than 100 others injured in what the Spanish Prime Minister is calling an act of jihadist terrorism in Barcelona. Police say it happened when a van rammed into a crowd of pedestrians in the historic Las Ramblas district, popular for tourists. Now tonight, the driver of that van is still on the run. ABC's Elizabeth Hur is in New York with the latest. Chaos in the heart of Barcelona with crowds running for cover come on, come on, come on. and police racing to the scene after authorities say this white van jumped onto a sidewalk packed with unsuspecting pedestrians. Everybody started to run because they were screaming from behind and everybody just ran forward. It was around 5 p.m. Thursday local time and eyewitnesses say that van was speeding, leaving a trail of terror before coming to a crashing halt. Heard screams of people and when I looked up saw the white van just knocking people over at, at high speed. Eyewitnesses later told police the driver abandoned the van and ran away and that van according to investigators was rented by this 28 year old Driss Ukabir. ABC News learning Ukabir was born in Morocco where he recently visited before arriving back in Spain last Sunday. Police announcing the arrest of Ugabir along with another man confirmed a third suspect was shot and killed. The investigation now continuing with an earlier house explosion and this late night incident just 60 miles south of Barcelona that left five people dead. All three events believed to be connected. This as families with missing loved ones, including American Jared Tucker from California, are asking for help. As for the investigation, authorities believe Ukabir had help, so they're now looking for at least two more suspects. New at 11, this one started as a sad story, but now has a happy ending. A mother with a long history of homelessness and poor credit was able to access low-income housing and was living in a local shelter with her new baby before they were able to get her this. But thanks to an outstanding housing program, she was able to get help. The DHHS says the Housing Action Program, or HAP, helps people who are homeless or have been illegally evicted find housing and get connected to other services. The HAP program director telling North Coast News why housing security is so important. Once that's been resolved, they're able to focus on setting new goals, achievable goals with employment, making sure their kids are going to school every day and learning, and they're able to devote more time with their children and their community. And once the housing is secured, services stay open for six months to help families stabilize. It's a pretty bizarre story coming up on North Coast News. A security breach and police chasing a man. How the wild run is now sparking a security debate straight ahead. And if you're a humble hiker, you may have stumbled upon a rattlesnake here or there. We'll show you what's going on with those slithering snakes. And here's another epic view of the Humboldt County sunset. Just in case you missed it today, look at that sun go down. How gorgeous is that? It was taken this afternoon at the Elk River Hickshawing Trail by our photog Lewis. And are we going to get more gorgeous sunsets tomorrow and even this weekend? First Alert meteorologist Rob Elvington will show us all that and more in less than two minutes. And you can get the coverage of the North Coast in the palm of your hand with the North Coast News TV app. Get daily alerts on what's happening around you, daily and extended forecasts, live radar, severe weather alerts, everything you need to know at your fingertips. Download the app for free. We'll be right back. You're watching North Coast News on KAEF ABC 23. 
Tune in to Entertainment Tonight for an inside look into the life of a celebrity. Witness them share and celebrate exciting news and party like there's no tomorrow. Entertainment Tonight. Weekdays on ABC 23. In that dark moment with death staring me in the face. I said, no, no, death. I got chicken sandwiches to make. What are you talking about? I'm talking about chicken. With no antibiotics. Never. Okay. Tar broil. Sealing the flavor. <laughs> Wait, you had that whole conversation while your boat was going down, Daddy? Yes, I did. The charbroiled chicken sandwiches with no antibiotics ever. Get the new Hawaiian chicken before it's gone. Only at Carl's Jr. Advanced Cellular understands that your phone is an extension of your life. Your devices are full of important pictures, contacts, and texts. When life happens, our honest and attentive staff ensure you get the best solution to fix your problem. The repair technicians at Advanced Cellular go out of their way when repairing your cell phone, tablet, or computer. We specialize in data recovery on liquid and damaged devices. Call Advanced Cellular for repairs or data recovery. We are your best choice. Hi, I'm Ross with Redwood Glass, and I've been in the glass and window business for 35 years. At Redwood Glass, we carry some of the highest quality products, like Milgard. We are proud to carry the Milgard products because of their exceptional lifetime warranty. Others may match our price, but no one will surpass our service. Windows, showers, you got a project, we can do it. So come on down to our Fortuna showroom to see how we can make your project a reality. Redwood Glass and Windows. We bring the view back to you. I'm petrified. When she doesn't get up out of bed in the morning, maybe she's dead. Look in my eyes and say that you are ready to get help. Three, four, and five minutes, he was dead. The Doctors. Weekdays on ABC 23. This portion of the news sponsored in part by Bear River Casino Resort. Good evening. Welcome back. The big story remains all the wildfire smoke coming in from out of western Siskiyou County and parts of Oregon. But the other big story is the inland and interior heat. Gagaski made it up to 102 this afternoon, 60s along the coast. Uh, you'll notice Fortuna made it up to around 73 this afternoon. I do have two numbers for the Eureka area. 65 is for the National Weather Service office in Eureka. That's 63 because for the Arcata Eureka Airport and 59 for a high today in Trinidad. 94 degrees in Garberville. I have 101 for Willow Creek, but there was a few observation sites near Willow Creek that were closer to 105, 106 today. So very, very hot for the interior. Now again, the big story continues to be all that smoke coming in from the fires in Siskiyou County. Now this image right here, this is the high-res MODIS satellite shot. This is a low Earth orbiting satellite. And you see the big fires burning in Siskiyou County. One of them is the Eclipse Complex, the Orleans Complex, and even the Clear Complex. But we also have some fires up in southwestern parts of Oregon. And this was taken at 225 this afternoon. And what happens in the overnight hours and into the morning, we get what's called an inversion. So a lot of this smoke gets trapped in low levels of the atmosphere and even into some of the valleys and canyons. So it takes until the late afternoon hours and even into the evening for that inversion to break and a lot of that smoke to start to rise and push off to the south and southwest. So it actually got a little bit worse after this image was taken. So let's take a look at the winds. These are winds right about now. And you'll notice the strongest winds again offshore. Uh, those pink arrows indicating sustained winds around 30 miles per hour. But take a look at the surface winds. You'll notice from out of the north and northeast. So pushing smoke south and southwest. And these are surface winds. The upper level winds a little bit different. But a lot of that smoke that's settling in the overnight hours getting pushed south uh, as you sleep tonight. And then into your Friday morning morning waking up to some light uh, easterly winds southeast or northeasterly winds I should say and pushing some of that smoke into Humboldt County and down North County but as we head into the afternoon hours you notice the winds start to shift more of a north and northwesterly wind so that pushes that smoke a little bit further east of the north coast but still another day of smoke and haze for the north coast so prepare for that uh, you can also see some of the fog and the marine strata showing up on the satellite most of that is mainly south of Cape Mendocino and not much in the way of thunderstorms today we saw a little bit of convection near Lake Tahoe but no lightning strikes and look at your hourly forecast through the overnight hours and into your Friday morning bottoming out in the low 50s and then starting to climb by the 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock hour precision cast this model does not take into account the smoke and the haze just cloud cover and precision precipitation so you can see some of the fog and marine clouds up against Humboldt Bay uh, but clear skies in the afternoon hours but again we'll be tracking that smoke from out of Siskiyou County 
as well as Oregon. Small craft advisory in place with north winds at 5 to 15 knots, gusts up to 30 knots. Again, these are your winds along and offshore of the north coast. Stronger winds as you head further offshore. And highs for tomorrow, right around 102 in Willow Creek, 96 degrees in Garberville, low 70s in Fortuna. Eureka, upper 60s tomorrow, 64 degrees in Crescent City. Stay with us, more news coming up. You're watching North Coast News on KAEF ABC 23. Where are you spending your summer? Fair River Casino Resort is here to reward you. Gorgeous views of the Eel River Valley, redwoods that touch the sky, and beaches that disappear into the horizon. Our newly remodeled hotel is the perfect home base for any adventure. Spacious suites and a staff that cares. Kick back, play, dine, and let the relaxation seep in. What are you waiting for? Come cool off in one of our spacious suites. Be rewarded. Bear River Casino Resort. The showroom at Carbono Tile is the North Coast's best destination for distinctive stones and tiles. Stop by and browse the wide selection. Carbono Tile has all types, cuts, shapes, and colors to fit any project. Estimates are free, and the professional installation team can provide design, consultation, construction, remodel, and repair. Whether you need inspiration or know what you're looking for, visit the showroom on 2nd and X Streets in Eureka. Carbono Tile, turning your dreams into reality. Who's the rebel now? No way. Yes way. Savor an Egg McMuffin anytime you like. A fresh cracked egg, melted cheese, Canadian bacon, and an English muffin with real butter. McDonald's all-day breakfast menu. Yeah! It's time to start breaking some rules. A beautiful smile is a sign of good health and happiness. Dr. Choi likes to make dentistry as comfortable and personable as possible for every client. He offers the latest dental technology, digital x-rays and 3D printers that are used to repair fractured teeth and other immediate dental problems. Now accepting new patients. Call Dr. Choi today for an appointment to get you smiling. Weekdays on ABC 23. Live from our studio in downtown Eureka, you're watching North Coast News on KAEF ABC 23 at 11. Get the facts right. They're pretty timid creatures, and they're not interested in having an aggressive interaction with humans. They're really just interested in being left alone. New tonight, here's something that may rattle you. A troubling trend has some hikers taking a different path. The Sheriff's Office says there's recently been an increase in rattlesnake sightings. The Northern Pacific rattlesnake is the only poisonous snake in Humboldt County, and earlier this week a woman was bitten by one. Alex Hassenstab has a story. Earlier this week, Cal Fire responding to a call of a woman who was hiking the Lost Coast Trail west of Garberville when she was bitten by a rattlesnake. Luckily, there was no venom in the bite. The Humboldt County Sheriff's Office says there's been a high number of rattlesnake sightings this year. Humboldt State University professor Sharon Marks studies reptiles and amphibians and knows a thing or two about snakes. We only have one species of rattlesnake locally. It's, it, the subspecies that we have here is called the Northern Pacific Rattlesnake. Marks says that these are the only venomous snakes in the county. And they're found in lots of different habitats, but they're mostly associated with rocky areas. Adding that they rarely bite humans, but when they do, they don't usually release any venom. This is what Marks refers to as a dry bite. About 25% or so of rattlesnake bites are dry bites. And she says these dry bites are harmless. It takes a lot of energy for the rattlesnake to make those venoms, and it doesn't really want to waste its venom biting something that it's not planning on eating. Officials say the hiker was lucky, suffering only a dry bite. If you do get bit, um, you should hope it's a dry bite, and then you should seek medical attention right away. The woman recovering without any issues, but that's not always the case. But they also can use their venom to protect themselves if they feel like they're in danger. So what should you do if you stumble upon one? Think ahead and dress in a way that doesn't expose you to rattlesnake bites. So if you see a snake, you back away, try to stay calm, and get to a hospital as quickly as possible. And Mark says you should not try to hurt a rattlesnake, adding it's always best to leave it alone to avoid harm to yourself. You should also keep an eye on your curious pets and children when they're out on rattlesnake territory.
the breach of security yesterday was, uh, was frightening and alarming, and it should never happen again. That was the Los Angeles City Council member talking about a bizarre and frightening chase that ended in one man's death. The Port of Los Angeles is reviewing its security procedures after a man fleeing from police got into a supposedly secure part of the port. Police say the man stole an SUV, drove it into a secure terminal area and climbed a crane before jumping or falling to his death. Take a look at what was caught on camera. Difficult to follow this guy doing donuts now. Officials say the suspect ran from the vehicle while it was still running. The man then stripping off his clothes started dancing around 170 feet off the ground. He ultimately either jumped or fell to his death. An L.A. City Council member watched on live TV as the man led police on a chase blowing through two guard gates. Can you imagine if the car had a, multiple bombs in it or if he was strapped with bombs in today's um, security climate, we should not have that worry. Los Angeles Port Police and LAPD have launched a full investigation into the security breach. Eureka is getting its first medical cannabis dispensary right in the heart of Old Town. Eco, or Ecological Cannabis Organization, is in the final stretch of the permitting process. Owner Jeff Holt tells us he's prioritizing goods without butane or alcohol-based products. As of right now, they're finishing up final touches on the store, which will be open to patients around September 1st. A man who helped end a worldwide malware attack is now accused of committing computer fraud. 23-year-old Marcus Hutchins earned his cyber chops as a good guy by finding the kill switch to the malware attack called WannaCry. Remember that virus that made everyone want to cry when it stole their bank account information? Well, now federal prosecutors are casting him as the villain. He appeared in court this week pleading not guilty to an alleged role in creating and distributing the malware. His trial is set for October. Covered California taking big action today to help consumers. They say their goal is to continue providing consumers with choice. They say they want to give you the lowest rates possible in the face of national uncertainty. So how do they plan on doing it? Well, they say... They'll wait until September 30th to decide whether its health plans must add a cost-sharing reduction surcharge to silver tier plans. The board also is adopting new contract language to provide assurances during a time of uncertainty so they can maximize your choice. The board says they also approved an increase in their marketing budget and outreach budget for 2018 of about $5 million, making it a total of $111 million. Back on the North Coast, kids in Humboldt County will be starting off the school year right with new backpacks and school supplies, all thanks to the generosity of employees at St. Joseph Health Humboldt County. Each year, St. Joe's employees and volunteers, they collect backpacks filled with school supplies for needy students. The backpacks are then given to students in Blue Lake, Lolita, Rio Del, Willow Creek, and surrounding areas. The most generous backpack donation coming from a nurse named Donna Valle. Hopefully I pronounced that properly. Donna is a former school teacher. She donated more than 60 backpacks filled with school supplies. Go Donna. The annual Coast Guard Day celebration is here. Coast Guard Station Humble Bay is scheduled to host an open house event this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2. It'll be on the station on New Navy Base Road in Eureka. It's free. It's open to the public. You'll get to go on base, see Coast Guard copters, small boats, emergency vehicles. You'll even get to mingle with Coast Guard men and women of the Humboldt Bay area. There's also a search and rescue demonstration at noon. Still ahead on North Coast News, squeeze the juice ojopoli. What are we talking about? A new California museum, and you could say it exhibits a new kind of art. We'll see for yourself straight ahead. But first, we have highlights from day one of the Little League World Series as some of the best young athletes in the world compete for the title. You're watching North Coast News on KAEF ABC 23. Cloney's Pharmacy is your pharmacy for customized medication compounding. Have a child who hates the way their medicine tastes? We can flavor it to make it more enjoyable. Have traditional medications been unsuccessful in treating your chronic pain problems? We can customize a topical gel to be applied directly to your site of pain. Have a pet who won't take their pills? We can make their medication into a flavored solution they'll be more than eager to take. Come into Cloney's Pharmacies today and find unique solutions to your medication problems. Cloney's Pharmacies, servicing you with convenient locations in Eureka and McKinleyville. 
Come on down to the 4th Street Market in Delhi. With some of the best bargains in town on beer, liquor, and wine, we have a huge selection. From craft and small batch stuff to the classics and traditional. From single cans to whole kegs. In the morning, pick up a hearty breakfast burrito from our deli with a hot cup of joe. We also serve fresh, delicious sandwiches and can cater your party or event. We even have a collection of quality handmade cigars. 4th Street Market in Delhi. The best beer for the best prices. Open 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. every day in Arcata. Introducing PowerView Motorization from Hunter Douglas. Intelligent window treatments that simplify your life. Just program your settings and PowerView will automatically move your shades throughout the day so you don't have to. And with a stunning array of styles, the most beautiful window treatments now become the smartest window treatments. New PowerView Motorization from Hunter Douglas. Contact us today to experience it yourself. Looking for a new way to bank? Try mobile banking with Northern Redwood Federal Credit Union. I can check it in a car. I can check it in a bar. I can check it while in line and when I'm out to dine. I can check it out of town, even when the power's down. Out of town, power down, I can check it as a clown. At a show with my bro while driving, no, no, no. But especially while at work. Now that's an awesome perk. Ask about mobile banking at Northern Redwood Federal Credit Union. It's pretty darn cool. At the store, on the shore, doing chores, making more. Weekdays on ABC 23. It was the first day of action in the 2017 Little League World Series. It kicked off today with two international games in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Mexico played Venezuela and lost while Canada beat Europe Africa today. There were also two U.S. games and we are going to talk about those first. New England taking on New Jersey. This was the second game of the Little League World Series. New England got on the board first with a single and a close play at the plate. New Jersey answered right back. Thanks to Ty Mann's home run. Now back to New England, Matthew Viviona was the hero today with a few clutch plays and an RBI triple. Mann delivered again for the Mid-Atlantic, scoring Garrett Drew. Then Chris Kartnick blasts a deep home run that also brings in Mann. New England squeaks out a win of 7-6. to six. Now to the last game of the day, Michigan taking on Texas. Hunter Ditsworth on the mound for Texas. And he was hot to start mowing down hitters left and right. Then Colin Ross hits a line drive home run for Texas to take the first lead of the game. And then Ditsworth gets into the action at the plate as he hits a deep two-run home run of his own. Texas cruised the rest of the way for the 5-1 to one win. Ditsworth picks up the win while striking out eight along the way. There will be another four games played tomorrow starting at 2. Coming up on North Coast News, are you a fan of the juice? How about interested? Are you interested? There's a new museum you're going to have to just check out coming up next. The first, be our eyes and ears in the community. When you see breaking news, see it, snap it, share it. Take a picture of some video and share it with us at news at northcoastnewstv.com or on our Facebook page, North Coast News TV. Stay with us. We'll be right back. You're watching North Coast News on KAEF ABC 23. Well, Ladies' menu changes every week. It's based on local, seasonal, and organic ingredients. So every Tuesday, we print a new menu. My best option for menu printing has become Post Taste. I can email my menus to them. They treat me like a neighbor rather than just a customer. With Notary Public mailbox rentals, live scan fingerprinting, and professional packing, we're here to make your business life easier. Don't waste your time at the post office. Send it post taste. Your one stop local shipping solution. Broadway Medical has been your local choice for medical equipment and supplies for over 30 years. From CPAP machines and masks to walkers and portable stair ramps, we have a large selection to find exactly what you need. We even install stairway and vertical platform lifts and can deliver your equipment to your home. Visit our showroom and our professional staff can help you find the product that best meets your needs. Broadway Medical Service and Supply, since 1974. Living Styles, the North Coast choice for the best in mattresses. We shopped everywhere. The Beauty Rust Black is by far the best. Well, we kept hearing how affordable Living Styles really is, and it's true. Satisfied customers are telling their friends about the best selection of quality mattress brands, the best customer service, and the best prices. That's why Living Styles has been voted the North Coast Journal's best mattress store. 
the best mattress store in Humboldt. Experience a Beauty Rest mattress today at Living Styles 2nd and A facing the Bay Old Town Eureka. Peterson's Collision Repair has over 20 years experience. We work with you and your insurance to make sure your car is fixed right. Peterson's Collision Repair also does windshield replacements. We have shuttle service to and from your home or workplace. You won't be disappointed. You can find us at 5065 Boyd Road off the 299 exit in Arcata. Peterson's Collision Repair, where accidents are set right. Entertainment Tonight. Weekdays on ABC 23. New tonight, the juice is loose and it's a pretty strange story you'll have to see to believe. O.J. Simpson is back in the spotlight, but this time it's not for legal troubles. It's because there's a new museum all about the juice. Joe Kwan takes you on a tour. The O.J. Simpson Museum is hard to miss from the outside with this parked right outside. This woman having lunch nearby saw it. O.J., you see the white Broncos on the street, you think O.J. It's not the actual white Bronco O.J. was in during this 1994 chase, just the same year and model. It's just so iconic. Adam Papagan is the man behind the pop-up museum. He grew up in Brentwood, the center of the Simpson murder case. I've always felt a... Uh, a fascination with it. Two years ago, he turned his fascination into a business, the OJ Tour, taking tourists to the crime scene and other spots. He started collecting Simpson stuff. The weirdest thing in here, we have three different OJ board games. Including this Trivial Pursuit-like game, also. Squeeze the Juice, where you play as OJ's defense team and try to drain him of money. And then, of course, there's OJopoly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Of course, there's some love for the gloves, a piece of art, and a greeting card. There's also sports memorabilia, some signed, an entire wall of OJ shirts, a tribute to OJ's nickname, and a gift shop. Inside the gift shop, there's also a place to take a selfie with the juice. A mix of fame and infamy and things that might make you go, huh? Look, it's a weird world we live in. Just because something is uh, unsettling or upsetting, doesn't mean that it's not worth talking about. The pop-up museum will be open Friday through August 22nd. Interesting. All right, well, would you go to that museum? Let me know on Facebook. Stay with us. We'll be right back. ABC 23. County fairs are a deep part of rural American heritage. This footage of the 1948 Humboldt County Fair is but a glimpse of the collective millions of memories the fair evokes. At that time, we'd been through a Great Depression, and the kids who fought and won World War II became our parents and grandparents. It's always been about community, friendship, and just having a good time, and that tradition continues today. Join us at the Humboldt County Fair, August 23rd through Labor Day. Go, 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 go! I'm Graham Charleston from Charleston Tree and Lawn Service. Removing hazardous trees, trimming, chopping, or pruning backyard trees. We can do it all, just give us a call. 707-497-4471 for a free estimate. Plan ahead and reduce hazards or open up view for the sunlight. Got a storm emergency? Call us, we're ready 24-7. Plus we do lawn care, field mowing, and yard maintenance. For all of your growing concerns, whether you'd like to prune it, plant it, or remove it. Charleston Tree and Lawn Service, covering all of Humboldt County. There's a need in our community for affordable living facilities when your parent or loved one requires more than what you can provide. Especially You is a 15-bed, full-care, assisted living facility near Henderson Center. Our caring, professional staff ensures your loved one is in a comfortable, home-like family environment. A licensed psychiatric tech is on staff. Plus, we have in-home health care from Mad River and St. Joseph's Hospitals, as well as Hospice of Humboldt and Dementia Care. Especially You, between A and B Streets on Henderson. It's time for Lumberjack football. Don't miss a moment of Humboldt State football action. Single game and season tickets are on sale now. Visit hsujacks.com slash tickets and order yours today. New tonight. Have you met Donald Trump? Jimmy's Mexican border solution. He would never build the wall if he knew about you. I think he would build like a water slide directly into your town there in Mexico. The irresistible Selma Hayek plus Jay Ellis. New Kimmel tonight on ABC. The Doctors. Weekdays on ABC 23. It's a reunion that's decades in the making and likely to be out of this world. A group of women are keeping a promise they made nearly 40 years ago. 
That promise was to have an eclipse party if they were all still friends by the time the next eclipse rolled around. And we all know that total solar eclipse is coming on Monday. So Alina, Mary, Rose, Danielle, Amy, and camera shy Holly have been close since 1979. They were freshmen in high school when they learned about the total solar eclipse. They watched the last one at their all-girls school in Shretton, and 38 years later, the group is making good on that promise. After different colleges, marriages, moves, and kids, none of that stood in the way. They're now calling themselves the Solar Sisters. Thanks for being here with us tonight. I hope you have a great rest of your evening, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Good night.